it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. What I have for you today is I want to do a paper crafting haul with some things that I've been gathering for a while. So let's start off and some of these came from scrapbook.com. Let's start off with this Stamperia Christmas Greetings paper. I love this. This one will be our next uh, little interactive book or junk journal that we do. I think this is beautiful. It would make a beautiful card, beautiful junk journal, beautiful interactive book. So much you could do with this, okay? And just look at the front, how beautiful, all right? When you open it up, this is what you have. This is gorgeous. I'm totally obsessed. Look at this detail to, at the top. You could use that. Look at all these little cut aparts. Oh, it is so beautiful for Christmas. And then just look in this. This is beautiful. That would be beautiful on a spine of a journal. And then if you look right here, look at this angel. That is absolutely breathtaking. I love this paper. They have such good designers, okay? And it's good quality. Right. Look at all these stars and embellishments on this page, the moon and the stars, and then take a look at this. This is simply gorgeous. I love the tree with the packages and the Christmas greetings with a little bit of music paper in the background. I love what this says. Then look at this page. So beautiful with the packages once again, right down to the gift tags. And then look at this. This is beautiful. I'm obsessed with this deer with his ornaments hanging off of his antlers. Look at all this wonderful, beautiful pages. Then look at this piece of pattern paper. I love it. It's so beautiful. Reminds me of an exquisite quilt. Love it. And then look at this. Oh my gosh, you can see how well this plays off one another. I love these. And you can see you could make little cards out of these and just cut them apart. Here's the back. And here's the front. And can we just take a moment to appreciate this clock, oh, the bird, all the berries and the flowers. I love that. Then this is the back of the clock. This scrapbook paper is gorgeous. I think this will make a beautiful junk journal. Then once again, you have little cards that you could use for ephemera. Here's the back of the cards. Then once again, it will be hard for me to decide what I want on my front cover. Look at this. It is beautiful. Then this is the back of that. Then look at this. I love that window, that little house. Oh, that is beautiful. Then this is the back of that page. Everything is so well thought out. And then look at these. Once again, more ephemera. That's the back of that. Then look at these little tags. All you have to do is just fussy cut around them with the back of that. And then look, it gives you some ephemera that you could just fussy cut around once again. I just, I love everything about this book, okay? Then I picked up some loose papers from this collection. I thought this would be really pretty. I just love how it's so, I love how it's kind of muted, but it looks exquisite. I love it. Okay. And then look at this back. Ugh. Then I picked up, this is the second single set of paper that I got. And then this side. I'm totally beyond myself. Then I picked up the background selection because I really feel, this is the 12 by 12, I feel when I make those books that I really need a lot of options for me. Some of you may not need that much, but I, I feel like I do. And I'll link anything that you want to order in the description box below, not affiliated. But look at this paper once again. Like I said, this is the backgrounds. I just love these. 
You could make pockets out of these. You could put them on the spine. You could make um, so many things out of this. Tags, waterfalls, so many options for ephemera out of this pack. But just look at this. Each one is so special. I just, I, and then look at this. Oh, what can I say? It reminds me of a beautiful tapestry or maybe a really beautiful quilt. Okay, then I bought the eight by eight of the same paper pad. You get 10 double face sheets and it's just like the bigger album but these are all small. These are great um, to put in your book as well because I don't think you can ever have enough. Like this may end up being, like I did in my Alice in Wonderland, this may end up being a page just cut in four so I can keep the integrity of the clock. Love it. But this is beautiful. This just down my alley. It looks old but it looks so expensive. So I picked that up. Then I won't open this, but these are the backgrounds in the, let's see what size, the eight by eight backgrounds, because you never know, like I said, you may need more. Then I also picked up the eight by eight in the regular scrapbook paper. I won't open it, it's the exact same. Then I picked up this beautiful, and I'm not gonna take it out, so sorry about the glare. This is rice paper, decoupage paper actually. And I wanted it, I didn't know, I love that tree. I don't know, I may try to do like a rice paper like or a decoupage front and back cover, I don't know, I've never done that on a book and so I couldn't decide between that and this beautiful deer with all the ornaments on his antlers or this I just love it so pick that up then I picked up all this little ephemera that they have this little pack of ephemera let's open it I haven't opened it I wanted to wait and open it with you and then later we'll get into some Tim Holtz items that I picked up but just look at that. That is gorgeous. It has such a nice feel to it. It has tons of these little ephemera for your junk journal. Look at this. Look at this deer. Once again, the clock, the house. Look at all this, the bells. The stars, Christmas greetings, and these are stickers. I just noticed these are stickers. So this ephemera is actually filled that are made out of stickers. Ugh. I cannot wait to start this journal. And look at that angel. So beautiful. And then the many, many Christmas ornaments. Ugh. Then I picked up the die cut. I'm not going to open these, but these are just thicker chipboard. I love them. They are just exquisite. Then here's some more paper adhesive ephemera. And this has the clock that's actually ephemera. Or did I get two of these? I may have picked up two of these. Gorgeous. Then they have rub-on stickers to match this. And I thought that would be really pretty. You could do so much with that. Like I said, I probably picked up Overkill, but hey. And then I picked up these cards. I love working on these junk journals. And what I don't use in my junk journal, I could use in making cards. Just look at that. Every attention to detail. I love that little deer. And the backs are so beautiful. Look at that package. This already tag already has a little hole punched. Happy holidays. This is getting me in the Christmas mood. And right here. You could use them actually as little charms if you wanted to hang off your journal or something. Look at this. 
That would be a beautiful Christmas card just to send to someone. Look at that. They would be great in your pockets in your journal. That's beautiful. Look, a little bookmark, or you could turn this into a tag with a journaling spot there. Look at this house. And once again, the beautiful clock. All right, now we'll jump to Tim Holtz. I picked up his Christmas ephemera, and I just wanted to see. I think it will be so cute. Look at all these little, look at that. It's like a ruler. Let's go in closer for these. Look at that. It looks like a candy post. Oh, so much. Beautiful stuff in here. December 25th. Special delivery. This sack contains a special delivery partial post. Look at that. Then all these beautiful little numbers like he does so well. And then what else do we have? Then we have, oh, look at this and this. Oh, and then larger rulers. I love his, like, rulers. And then we have larger ones of these. Oh, look at this. That is so unusual. Then we have Deck the Halls, Snowdrift, Candy Cups. I love the retro vibe of these. Christmas Company Jingle Bells. Look at this. Oh, and look at this little deer. Is that not adorable? And then a little bit smaller one and a wreath. Admit one five cents. Just look at this. I mean, and it goes on and on. Like I said, I've been collecting these for a while. <laughs> so I got some of his stencils, and I thought this was really pretty. You can use these with paint, paste, and more. So this one is just kind of cracked and aged looking. All right. Love that one. Then this one. I was watching him do his video where he shows you his collection. And that's when I purchased some of this. And I love these pine cones with the needles and what he did with it. So, I went ahead and picked up to go with these stencils. His Distress Texture Paste in Opaque. His Grit Paste in Snowfall. His Crackle Paste in Translucent. <laughs> I went crazy. And his texture paste in translucent, okay? And then, like I said, I was watching him. And I loved what he did with those pastes. So, I picked up a bunch of his little embossing glaze. This one is in pumice stone. This one is in spiced marmalade. This one is in a blue. This one is in a really pretty green light green, almost like a sage green. This one is in a really dark blue. It's like sapphire. This one is in aged mahogany, a really pretty Christmas green, a lighter green, like an olive green. Abandoned coral is what he calls this one. This is squeezed lemonade. And then I have peacock feathers and seedless preserves. And I thought I could use these with some of this and maybe incorporate into in that junk journal I'm doing or do something else. So stay tuned for all of this. I cannot wait. I've got a lot of new things coming. Then I picked up these little stencils of his. We'll open these because they're different. Okay, I got these three. I thought they would give a good feel. You can see this one. And then this one, and then this. So you can see right here the three. 
Uh, but I just thought they're called layering mini stencils. So I thought that would be good to have. Then I picked up some ideology, okay? These are their layers. I just think that's beautiful. Just to have different types of ephemera. I just, I love it. Looks like you get some of them, you get two a piece. Look at this. And it looks like it's just torn. Love it. Here's like a ledger. Let's go in a little closer. Mm. I love all his stuff. So pretty. And then you get some bigger, and look at that. It's like a register. And some more of this. So I guess maybe you get two, or no, maybe not. This looks like a larger one of maybe that. Oh, look at this. And I found some ways I'm going to be making our own ephemera. Just look at this. It's like a grade, like a report card, an almanac, postcard. Look at all this. It just keeps going. And then, of course, you have to have some tags. In this book. Look at that. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. I picked up these little snowflakes from Ideology. I thought they would be perfect for that journal I want to do. And I also picked some pine cones up, but they I've lost them on my desk somewhere. Okay, so then I picked up, like I told you, I went insane. So here's his uh, Stampers Anonymous collection. This is Field Notes. With the hardback rubber, I picked this up. Some of this stuff you can get on Amazon as well. Then I picked up Moth Study because I loved all that. Then I picked up, now I've already been in this. This is the, his uh, entomology. Look at that, all those bugs and all that great stuff. Then I picked up his sketchy leaves, and I thought that'd be beautiful for fall or anything if you want to give a subtle background to it. Then I had to pick up some ink. So I picked up some antique linen in the Distress Oxide, old paper, hickory smoke, pumice stone, Lost Shadow. This is great if you want something that's very light but still barely shows up. And Black Soot, okay? And then I purchased Gathered Twigs and the Reinker for it. Here's the little pine cones I bought. I thought I would maybe try to hang these or put them somewhere in that junk journal I want to make. Now let me show you next what I bought and we are going to make our own ephemera. Okay, you can go online and I have uh, purchased some of their ephemera from Etsy. It's very good and very inexpensive, but I thought I can make my own. And this is, I went to Walmart. None of this was very expensive. I think $4 was the most expensive. I picked up this beautiful ledger pad, and look how many sheets you get. You could also make copies of this or scan it into your computer. I thought that would be a good idea. You could take this and distress it with your inks. Beautiful ephemera, so you can make your own. Then while I was in there in Walmart, I saw this statement sheet, and it was not expensive at all, and it has carbon, but you don't have to use the carbon, but look at that. You could have your own statements, same principle. You could ink them up. You could use some of the carbon, some of the not carbon, but look what all you get. Then a sales order form. I thought that is just really good idea. You could put something on it, stamp stuff on it, ink it around. You've got ephemera for your junk journal. Then another little receipt because maybe I just want a small one, you know, like a receipt for money or whatever. 
Then I picked up some sales books, and you get three of these. And these are what these look like. I'm not going to open, but you get 50 carbonless sets. Let's open this because I'm curious. All right, so you see you get three packs. Look at this. Is that not cute? You could ink around that. You could do whatever you wanted. Oh, love this. Then I thought I saw these mini composition notebooks at Walmart. You get a set of three. Um, I think each has 80 sheets. And we are going to be making some mini composition notebooks. So, like I said, I have so many ideas for this channel, we're also going to be doing very soon, before we start the Christmas junk journal, we're going to be starting a journal with altered file folders that I want to really dive into and make it come alive. It's stuff like this that I love to do. So, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because we have a lot of fun things coming ahead. And hopefully we can get this channel monetized because like I've repeatedly said, my main channel, The Magnolia Housewife, is supporting this channel and The Magnolia Housewife. So until next time, stay crafty.